The Case Against Air Conditioning by Stan Cox About the author, Stan Cox, 1955, writes regularly about sustainability, ecology, and agriculture. After earning a PhD from Iowa State University in 1983, he spent 13 years working for U.S. Department of Agriculture as geneticist. He is now a senior, a senior scientist at the Lance Institute, an agricultural research and policy organization in Salina, Kansas. His essay and opinions columns have appeared in the Baltimore Sun, San Jose Mercury News, Counterpart Organization, Progressive Populist, and many other outlets. Cox is the author of Sick Planet, Corporate Food and Medicine, and Losing Our Cool, Uncomfortable Truths About Our Air-Conditioned World. Background on Air Conditioning In the opening pages of Harper Lee's acclaimed 1961 novel To Kill a Mockingbird, the narrator says of her childhood in a small southern town. Somewhat it was hotter then. She may have been reflecting on the changes brought by air conditioning. The first modern air conditioner was built in 1903 by William Carrier, an engineer who created a device that chilled and dehumidified air by forcing it over coolant filled coils. For the first decades of the 20th century, Air conditioning mostly served industrial purposes, cooling factories, textile mills, and printing plants. Gradually, the technology spread to hospitals, hotels, and movie theaters. The boom in residential air conditioning came with the development of smaller units after World War II by 1953. Over a million had been sold. The invention had an enormous demographic effect on the United States. The spread of air conditioning in the 1960s and 1970s made possible the large shifts in people and businesses to the American Sun Belt. Summary in English The author message is that AC keeps us inside and away from interacting with one another. We shouldn't be trapped inside every day, but we should be out and about to enjoy the world around us. The essay is about why Washington, America should stop using air conditioner in everyday life, with the, with the exception of hotels, archives, and cooling centers. The author supports his argument by providing examples of Washington would like without air conditioners at work, at home, and around town. Cox starts out with using modern-day example of people using air conditioning to beat the heat and why it is bad. Cox wants reader to turn down, turn off, or just complete eliminate air conditioning use. He believes that it will benefit us by making neighborhoods more friendly, laws more lax and climate change less of an issue. People in Washington didn't have to experience extreme heat because their houses were equipped with air conditioner. Air conditioner not only reduces the heat but increases electricity bill and helps increase greenhouse effects. This isn't a smart activity because we are running our own environment. Refrigerators burn fossil fuels, which emits greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gases raises global temperatures. As a result, we will need more air conditioning. America is one of the world's highest greenhouse gas emitting countries. Now the consumption of electricity in America has doubled since the early 90s. Less than the half century ago, America used very little air conditioning devices. Americans can return 
to the pre-air conditioning state by reducing the use of air conditioners. The air conditioning machines should be allowed to use only in important places such as hospitals, archives, and cooling centers. The author imagines a very beautiful America if air conditioners can be banned to use in houses. At work If we remove air conditioners, we can experience very different workplaces. During summer times, workers will get more flexible and more relaxed time because offices will be closed and they will have very little working hours. All offices will be equipped with large open windows, ceiling fans, window fans, and desk fans. An American office will look like they used to be before the arrival of air conditioners. The government will also have to provide more holiday to its workers, and the nation will enjoy little economic burden by reducing the cost of running the government. There will be less laws passed in the parliament and the activities of lobby list will also decline. There will be less hatching of new schemes or plotting. The parliament sessions will be adjourned during the summer. During warm springs and fall days, hearings will be held under cool shade of trees in the lawns. This will obviously help overcome the present climate change problems. At home, the house owners will open their windows to let in fresh and cool air which are mostly closed now due to the fear of threats and crimes. People will now construct high ceilings with better cross ventilation and windows, install more fans and paint their roofs white to reflect solar rays to make their homes cool and comfortable to live in during hot seasons. As a result, electricity bill will reduce. There will be no washing machines and every house will be seen with cloth lines where they will keep their clothes to dry from direct sunlight. People will eat grilled food and have the dinner on the porch. Around town Post-AC towns will be overcrowded with people from the neighborhood. There will be more people spending their time outdoors, particularly in the late afternoon and evening, when temperature falls more quickly outside than they do inside their homes. As a result, socializing during the summers will become common. Rather than sitting and entertaining alone in one's room, people in the neighborhood will get time to know each other. Because there are more people outside, there will be less crime and people will feel safer. Deaths of elderly people inside their apartment will also decline because they will be staying, spending more time outside. They will get immediate care from public than they were at homes. Most people will now opt for cycling. There will be no school days for kids during hot seasons. Children will also spend more time on-site, somewhere in the city playgrounds and water sprinkles will also increase in their neighborhood. All houses will have green roofs due to grasses, vegetables, etc. More greenery will be seen around the city. There will be more green tops of government and commercial buildings. These tops will obviously reduce the room temperature.